What are the top five things to look for when hiring a house cleaning employee for your team? We're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by SavvyPerks.com, which is a new employee discount network that we have that's available to you as a small business owner and also your employees. It's a way to sweeten the pot as you're hiring new employees to incentivize them to be loyal to your company and to keep coming back and not jump ship and go work for your competitor or go start their own house cleaning business. So check it out, SavvyPerks.com. For about the price of a sandwich per month, you can incentivize your employees with an amazing incentive program that has over 250,000 restaurants, retailers, services, and also adventures like outdoor kayaking and whitewater river rafting and theme parks and water parks and fun stuff for you and your employees. All right, on to today's show, which is from a house cleaner who wrote in and she's getting ready to hire some employees. And she wants to know what the five top things are that she should look for in a house cleaner that she's about to hire. Well, it's a fun question for me because there are about five things that are absolutely crucial to the success of your business when you hire people on staff. Now, the very first thing that I would look for is reliability. Are you hiring someone that you can count on? And so as you interview them, come up with questions that question their reliability. Have them share examples with you when they were reliable. These are gonna be stories like there was a snowstorm and instead of calling out, they found a way to safely get to work on time. Things like that. There are ways that you can be safe, but you can also be reliable. If you're hiring a person that's always looking for excuses and they're always looking for the back door to every single challenge that your business has, that's not the person you're looking for. You're looking for somebody who's reliable that you can count on. This is super important for this reason. You need to be able to count on them as the employer and your customers need to be able to count on you as a company. All right, so reliability is number one. Number two is being a self-starter. Now, a self-starter, you wouldn't think that has a lot to do with cleaning, but it does. If you're a self-starter, you see things that need to be done and you go do them. You don't wait for somebody to give you orders and tell you what to do. As a self-starter in the house cleaning business, you're gonna come up with a lot of opportunities every day at every house where you have to make judgment calls. And if you're the kind of person that sits around and waits for somebody to tell you what to do and micromanage you, you're not right for the house cleaning business. But if you see things that need to be done and you can make a smart determination on does this fit into my job category and am I able to do it in the time that I have or this doesn't fit into what we're doing today but I would love to come back and bring this to my boss and have her upsell that or have him upsell that to the client so that we can finish this in the client's home. So a self-starter is going to be a person that gets themselves out of bed in the morning, they get themselves to work on time, they make sure that if something happens they take initiative and they get it done and they do it right. All right, so being a self-starter is number two. Number three is honesty. I can't express how important honesty is in the house cleaning business. And it's on a variety of different fronts. When you go to a customer's house, it's obvious that you want an honest person because you don't want them stealing the client's things. You don't want them lying to the client. You don't want them over promising and you don't want them talking bad about your company. You want somebody that's really honest about what's going on. Now, honesty also goes backwards. When you have a, an employee that is honest, they will come to you and they will tell you what else is going on in the company. They're not gonna cover for their friends and they're not going to paint pictures that aren't true about other employees to get other employees in trouble. They're gonna come and say, hey, I have a problem and here's the problem and they will paint an honest picture about what that problem is. That allows you as the business owner or the manager to try to resolve those problems without the employees just causing a big fiasco amongst themselves because we don't want that either. All right, the fourth thing that we want to focus on when we hire somebody is we want to hire somebody who is willing to learn. Willing to learn is huge in the house cleaning industry because oftentimes you'll hire somebody that already has cleaning experience. And so they want to come in and say, well, I already know how to clean. Don't teach me anything. I already figured it out. Well, maybe they did but maybe your business has a very specific way that you need to clean in order to create consistency at every house that you clean. And so you may have new methods, you may have new systems, maybe you do a speed cleaning program as part of your business, maybe you do a 38 point check 
system where you double check all your work. Who knows what your system is? Every system is different, but you need somebody that's willing to learn that. And then also if a customer comes to you and says, hey, this is not meeting my expectations. Is there a way that we can fix this? A person who is willing to learn will say, sure, what can we do? How can we make that right? And because they're willing to learn, they can bring that information back to you. And then on a grand scale, you can make all those changes across the board within your company. The number five thing that is super important when you hire a new house cleaner is that they are kind. And I know that doesn't sound like it's a house cleaning characteristic, but it's incredibly important to the success of your business. House cleaning is a really tough job. And because it's a really tough job, we put our bodies through a lot of physical demands and a lot of physical stress. And on top of that, we are people too. We have our own lives. Maybe we stayed up too late because our kids were sick. Maybe we have a whole variety of other things that we're fighting with. So we show up and we're grumpy or biorhythmically we're having a bad day. And then we have to deal with a customer and we have to be kind. And so it's super important that you hire people who know how to be kind. And even coworkers working amongst themselves, they get in little spats and they get upset with each other and they have bad days and they have conflicts. That's okay. But if kind is your default, whatever the situation is, wherever you find yourself, however grumpy you may feel on the inside, your default is kindness. And so whether you're dealing with another employee, whether you're dealing with your boss, whether you're dealing with a client, kindness is your default. And so you will always stop and pause and say, hey, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm not, but maybe I was. But in this particular moment, I choose to be kind. And that's the kind of person that you want to hire. So those are five really important success traits that you can look for when you hire a new employee for your cleaning business, because you can teach somebody how to clean and you can teach somebody skill, but you cannot teach somebody to bring these characteristics with them. This is inherent to who that person is. This is part of their character, part of their makeup. This is who they are. And so those are the kinds of people that you're looking for. All right, that's my two cents for today. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.